All right, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our idle control in our AEM Pro software. So when we're going in to do our idle tuning, we're gonna find we have a base duty table. We also find a target table. So our AEM Pro software is gonna be controlling our idle in a closed loop state. So we're gonna program a target idle that we wanna reach based on a coolant temperature. And then we're gonna have a lookup table based on that target idle that's going to specify a percentage opening from our idle control solenoids, whether it's gonna be a pulse width modulate solenoid or a stepper style solenoid, depending on what application we're gonna be using it on, whether it's gonna be on a Honda or something like a Toyota. We're gonna to find that the control strategy is gonna be essentially the same, and we have to know a couple other things for our idle programming and how it's gonna be working. So we're gonna be taking a look at our basic idle control and then more advanced idle control and how the tables are gonna interrelate and how we need to go in and program them so we can get our idle dialed in correctly. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. All right, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our idle control in our AEM Pro software. The very first thing we're gonna do is go on our specific page for idle control. We can find on our icon list here, this little tachometer is gonna be called idle. We're gonna click on this, and now we find that we have our basic idle control parameters available to us. Now we're gonna be taking a look a little later in this video at working with the advanced idle control. But for right now, let's jump into the control routine and how this is gonna work and how we can go into programming this basic idle routine and tables. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at here is our idle target phase table. This is going to be specifying what our target idle speed is gonna be at based on the coolant temp we're operating at here. So if I click on the table, do control S, that's gonna give me the numerical view of the table. We can find this table here is gonna be showing us the cursor of where our target idle is gonna be at based again on our coolant temperature. So our coolant temp is the scale bottom here. The idle target is going to be the top values we find here. So right now, looking at our cursor position, we can see idle target showing us 1300 RPM, and it's gonna be showing us that, uh, that at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't have coolant temperature available here, but we're always, always able to jump into the table here and look at where our cursor is gonna be at. So we can see here if our coolant temp varies, as I move up in coolant temperature here, if I bring my engine up into warmer temperatures, we're gonna be finding, depending on where my cursor's at, it's gonna be displaying, again, the idle target here is redefined at 1,000. We're at this data point here. And if we're between points, right about this area right here, we can see our cursor's between 140, 158. We'll find that our idle target's gonna be defined as 925. It's gonna be taking the average between these two data points. So that's gonna be how this table works. So it's gonna be slowly interpolating through the values across here 